Hello, what's your name? Aparabia. Aparabia, okay. Um, what do you think is the reason for failing relationships and marriages in our era as compared to our parents' home? Hmm. Well, a lot of reasons, but then I think um, everybody has a different reason why his or her relationship doesn't uh, really work out. Um, what may be peculiar to me may not be peculiar to the other person. So, I but I think uh, mainly is understanding. I think we don't understand each other. We don't connect. You understand? Like people just get married or be in a relationship because everybody is married. So they don't really take their time to see if they are really connecting with the person. The vibe is there. Because I, I, you know, our parents were married for like 20, 30 years. And we have this in say, so you need something extra to be able to sustain it when probably. Uh -huh. So I think that's where the connection and the vibe comes in. In your opinion, do you think we have some things that can be that extra factor for you to hold on to marriages even though um, it lasts? That's what I'm saying, sir. Uh, it varies from person to person. But so personally, personally yeah. um, I, I think I want to be able to see my partner and be happy, smile, miss him. So with me, physical attraction is number one for me. Like, People also say, um, you know, physical attraction shouldn't be it because well, it might fade as they grow. If, if, if I'm not connecting with you on that level, it's really difficult because I, I have to see my husband or my boyfriend come in and I have to smile, you know. I, I, if, 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 if the person is not my person, like my type of person, Eddie. <laughs> The way you said, Eddie. You know? Yeah, because <laughs> in all my relationships, I have to be on that level with the person. Like, we have to attract each other physically. Because I think that one is very important. Because that's what you see first before you even open. I know people will say intelligence, but you have to be, I have to be attracted to you physically before I hear what you have to say. And then I get to know whether you are intelligent or not. Like uh, you know, I mean, I, I don't think anybody should settle for anything less than what they want. Not what they deserve, but what they want. Personally, I don't settle. If I say I like tall guys, I like tall guys. If I say I like muscled guys, I like muscled guys. Cause I am if it. So I don't want to be in a situation whereby I'll see another woman's man and I'll be, you know, Mm -hmm. So I would want to have the whole package for myself. So physical attraction is number one for me before I even come to your intelligence level and other things. Okay, so if the physical attraction meets your expectation, it means that you can compromise to some extent? Oh, well, well I'll just tell you to shush when we go out. <laughs> The cause of fading and unsustainable marriage in our era is like these generations, um, especially both both sides are very vocal. And then if something is wrong in the relationship, they are going to voice out. And then if something is not going to help them, they are just going to leave. They will just leave because like nobody will sit for a man to abuse you mentally, physically, and then you die. Because like thinking a lot gives hypertension and all those things, you will die. So nobody wants to be in that situation. I just want to be there. They would rather leave rather than to die. Nobody. So if I'm listening to you well, it means the same problems we had now, we have now, used to be there during our parents' era. Just that the approach. They didn't talk about it. They didn't used to talk about it, man. Because I think, I don't think my mom has the same experience. She never talked. She stayed for 18 years, and then it was too much. And then she left. Not because like they want their marriage to prosper. If your marriage doesn't want to prosper, there's nothing that you can do. You can die. If you die now, if it's like if it's male or female, they will marry a new wife. So your sanity first before anything other else. You think people hide their characters before marriages and after marriage 
whilst you're staying with them sometimes they show up one thing they don't know is like marriage is a very long thing it entails a lot two wise people can't live together one has to be a fool and then one has to be the why um the wiser person and i think this era nobody wants to be the the fool everybody wants to talk so that's the main reason nobody wants to be the the foolish person so everybody wants to be the wiser person so two wise people can be in the same space so that's how it doesn't it doesn't tally, it doesn't work. Because I won't sit there for you to go out and have fun with your friends and I'll be in the house and I'll endure that. And then maybe I can't go out. Me, yeah, I also, also want to go out, go and have fun and still have fun. That's how it works. But the other one will understand because you know, jealousy and all those things. Lack of communication. Lack of communication. Yeah, I believe in communication. What, what do you mean? by communication in what sense like you should be able to tell your partner what you want and then you should be able like talk about everything and nothing like how you want things to go around because like we are not mind readers so if you don't tell your partner what you need or what she wants then you don't know like how to go about things around and it always brings about conflicts and then maybe end up in a breakup some people also say that um, they, they expect their partners to sort of know them when they've lived for, I mean, a while. So they choose not to maybe use silence treatment and stuff to sort of communicate their displeasure on issues. Do you think it's the right way to go? No, it's not the right way to go at all. Because you can stay, we are human beings. We grow, we adapt new cultures. Mm. Me, personally, um, I'm a Ghanaian, but I've not been around for like um, 23 years. So for me to live with a Ghanaian man, it's going to be a bit hard. Like, he really needs to know, like, I believe in equality. Everything should be equal. And um, I'm very, very about, like, when I want something, I tell you how I want it. Even in bed, I have to tell you how I want it so you can satisfy me. Because if you can't satisfy me, then I don't know what I'm going to do with you. It's all about communication. Okay, it's all about communication. Yeah, I, 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 I can't fake orgasm. I can't. Mm. I can't fake. So I have to tell you, I really want it. Yeah. Okay. okay. But you know, when it comes to communication, I feel there, there are actually ways. Some people are naturally not good with bringing up their emotions to their partners to talk about it. So in case you meet somebody like that, how do you think, or what, what advice would you give to someone that's with someone that are not good with communicating their emotions? You can teach your partner everything as we are human beings, just like teaching a child how to talk and everything. A grown-ass man, it's very easy. During like the early stages of the relationship, you can tell the person, this is me, and I really want you to tell me if there's something bothering you, if I'm doing something wrong and you don't like it, I would really like if you can tell me. Yeah, so I think it's, I don't know, but to me it's very easy. I can get people to talk, that is me, yeah. Because you prize communication above everything else. Above everything. I think uh, the um, lack of communication in relationships. Yeah, I think at the beginning, uh, maybe at the talking stage, um, people don't really define what they want in a relationship before they get in. Yeah, so they get in with, you know, expectations, but just imaginations, when you say that way. Yeah. So they sort of don't have um, proper communication with their partner on what they actually want. Yeah, I mean, I think before you get in a relationship, you should actually know what you want. You have to tell the person what you want. So the person doesn't miss it. I just think, I just think uh, the relationship should end. Like, they shouldn't even begin. You can be friends, but then... I also think that the reason why um, there is poor communication also is because most people don't want to end up alone. They want to end up alone. That's new. What do you mean? Because, um, well, for one reason, um, if I should, let's say, you and I, if we should start talking, start dating, and um, I see certain red flags in you, I don't really like. I think I can't tell you because I don't want to end up alone. I don't want to tell you to change. 
here so he would leave but then um, i think the whole issue is just loneliness people can't be alone that's what i think that's crazy that's crazy so like they sort of have to even endure abusive relationship because they don't want to be alone they sort of have to endure abusive relationships because they don't want to be alone yeah basically that's just it because why else will someone put up with another person's excuse me to say crap if the person doesn't you know want to be alone maybe love no it just don't, it's, it, the whole, the main point is loneliness i think it goes beyond love yeah it goes beyond love. Yeah, it goes beyond love. It's just loneliness. No one, no one wants to be alone. That's actually the deep secret. That's what I think. No one really wants to be alone. Everybody wants to feel, you know, this companionship, sure, this love. You know, like I'm with someone. You know, I mean, like you said, Gen Z, they want, you know, that status quo of me in a relationship because it's a new. It's <laughs> well, okay, so Gen Z, um, you people are popular. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not part of you, <laughs> so yeah, you're famous, and uh, especially with regards to relationships, I think you're making waves, especially when you open the media and then you see podcasts and Gen Z's person speaking, it's more or less like they are focused on materialistic stuff not only the girls but the guys the guys are looking at the body the women are looking at the money why do you think it's like that i really think it's gen z at least yours is yours is um what i mean before before it was there but now it's like crazy day day <laughs> i just think well um the work people will say well evolution like the world has evolved. I don't really think it's a Gen Z problem. Yeah, but it's a people's problem. It's a modern day problem. Let me say it that way. No, I think you are trying to do damage control for your people. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no but, okay, I can say this generation is. I mean, yes. I mean, morality has declined totally. But then. That's what I'm saying. People will say, the work people will say, well, we are evolving. So, you know, like how someone will say, probably, um, excuse me to say, I'm, okay, I will not say because in mind, will it be, will it be, Ed? I hope not. What, 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 what are you trying to say? You can say it another way. Uh, yeah, I was going to bring the, the whole LGBT, whatever thing out. Okay, but I get the idea, so you can continue. I mean, for such people, they feel like, you know, this is their right, and then the world has evolved. So, 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 and so. I guess one thing is another. But I think you, you are, oh, sorry, I may have drifted a little. Your question was materialism. Why is Gen Z so materialistic? <laughs> well, I just think they just want a better life or something. So, so in, in essence, it's not a bad thing. It's just an issue of people evolving and changing no i wouldn't really say i don't believe in the notion of people evolving but I just think yeah um, society has lost a lot of uh, moral values especially this generation we've lost a lot a whole lot of moral values in the name of evolving like the, the name of the community is progressing yeah, that's what I just believe. I don't believe in materialism. I just think, I mean, material stuff are good, sure, but it shouldn't be the basis of a relationship. 